to study the book of Jude. Then, let's go for a walk into this interesting book of the Bible. Hi, I'm Pastor Joan Niches. Today, I'll talk about Introduction to the Book of Jude. Apostle Jude was one of the Jesus brothers who had a message which may be considered like blunt because he wrote about several topics upon daily living of the church. He had an ample vision about the church's necessities and he warned them about things to come. It seems you gave us a briefing upon celestial revelations. And also in the book of he covers briefly many important points, as the conflict between the country Michael and the devil for Moses' body. Even more, he narrates what happened with the fallen angels and their whereabouts until today. I love his introduction because you can realize he doesn't introduce himself as brother of the Lord, but as brother of James, who was brother of the Lord as well. Jude focus about a possible spiritual weakness, side of shores and prevent any attack from evil, no matter how the minuscule looks. The apostle started exhorting the church about bad men who looked for her their basis and their principles of sanctuary. Let's read the verse 4. Jude continues warning about this kind of man and remember the crossing of Israel leaving Egypt and how the God got rid of Egyptians but all of a sudden. He joined to another topic quite interesting about the fallen angels and where they are. Let's read the verse 6. Now he loses to skip the page and rebuke the rebels who are used to define the authority and speak all type of violence against the dignities. By the way, you refers the battle between Michael with the devil. Where the archangel didn't insult Satan, but he revealed them only, as the Bible states in the verse 9 through 10. You described their final quiet dreadful, and also he compared them with Cain and he called them greedy, like Balaam, and rebels like Kor. He recommends us far away from them because they contaminate our good habits and Christian feelings. After the Apostle Corner writers, complainers, walking after their own lust, and their mouths speak great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration because of a banish. Then he made us aware about many mockers in the last time. Let's read the verse 18. I'm aware of his worry about our integrity and the perseverance in the love of the Lord and take care of our serve upon any interference in the corp of Christ from outside. You that passes us praying in the Holy Ghost and keep looking for the mercy of God until eternal life. But call my attention to verse 22. Let's read it. As we read, Apostle Jude speaks about made difference to avoid being affected with bad influence from whosoever they are. For he in the most precious thing is our spiritual relationship with God. The reason why we can allow neither nobody nor nothing curse our integrity. He warned us we must take it off clothes in clothes. It's noticeable this is the first time someone speaks about the clothes of anybody else. That means if someone borrows my clothes, but if the person lives against God willing 
and by their own ways of living, such clause must be refused. What has Jude said about this in the verse 23? The apostle does emphasis in the integrity of the church and enforces us to be faithful before God and his moral principles. May this subject illustrate to you and bless your soul.